Okay, in this video, we are going to learn about the different types of triangle or the triangles that are classified according to some characteristics of them. Now, we know and we have already discussed this earlier that triangles, they have six basic elements or six characteristics. They have three sides and three angles. Now, if we take the three sides and three angles, it is possible to classify angles depending on what their sides are or what their angles are. And that is precisely what we are going to do to say or, or to come up with a type of triangle. So now let's first start looking at the sides. Now you have, we know that the triangle requires three line segments and I have three examples over here. So let's, let's, let's think of what, what we can have different. Now in the three sides, we could have three cases, right? The first case, being all three sides equal, right? Let's say that the three sides could be equal, three sides equal in length, okay? Three sides e equal in length. The second case is two sides equal in length, okay? And the third side is not of the same length, it's of a different length. So two sides of equal lengths and the third case would be three sides are unequal they are not of the same length three unequal sides three unequal sides and precisely this is what we use to classify three angles now for the case now let's look at this triangle which is blue colored over here and this is triangle with vertices a B and C. Now this triangle has the same length of side AB, AC and BC. Okay, so this triangle is known as an equilateral triangle. Let me li write that down for you. It is known as an equilateral triangle. Equilateral and I'll just use triangle, right? So this is the first type of triangle. Now the second triangle over here, let us call this as triangle D, E and F. Now D, E, let's put three bars over here, D, E and D, F. These two line segments, these two sides of this triangle are of same length, whereas this one is of some other length. The E, F is of different length. Now this type of triangle which has two equal sides is known as an isosceles triangle and let me write it down over here it is known as an isosceles triangle i a s o s isosceles triangle okay and now we look at the third case let us say that this triangle is d e f let's call it m n o and in this case the length of all these three sides that is m n m o and on they are all different right and this type of triangle is known as a scalene triangle so we have we, we discussed three types of triangles based on their sides three equal sides known as an equilateral triangle two equal sides isosceles and all the three sides being unequal is known as scalene now you could have a similar classification based on angles and now you have to be a bit careful over here about what type of angles we are looking at now let's say in the first case we have all angles all angles are acute that is less than 90 degree all angles in this triangle are acute acute Second case could be one of the angles, one of the angles is 90 degrees or a right angle. And the third possibility is one of the angles, one of the angles is greater than 90 degree or an obtuse angle. So for all these three cases, we classify a triangle. Now for the first case where all the three angles are acute, it is known as an acute angled triangle. Acute angled 
triangle. So in this case, let us say that this triangle is E, F, and G. And what we know is that angle E, let, let's say angle F, angle G, and angle E, they are all acute, less than 90 degrees. Okay, and therefore it is an acute angled triangle. Now, the, the second case where we say one of the angles is 90 degrees. So you can clearly look at this another angle. Let us say that we will call this triangle as STU. So angle STU, the angle T over here or angle STU, this is a right angle, which is 90 degrees. So we call this triangle as a right angle angle triangle this is a right angled triangle okay one of the angles has to be 90 degrees now is it possible to have a triangle that has two 90 degree angles this is something for you to think about just try to see if you can make a triangle in which there are two right angles just think over it a good thinking exercise and let us look at the third case where one of the angles is greater than 90 degree. So this third triangle over here, which is orange, let us call it JKL. Let's say this is J, this vertex is K, and this is L. And what is clearly obvious here is this angle over here, angle KLJ or JLK, whatever you look at it, this is greater than 90 degree. It is an obtuse angle, right? An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degree. So this type of triangle in which just one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees or one of the angles in obtuse is known as an obtuse angled triangle. Okay, to summarize the types of angles. So depending on size, if all the three sides are equal, it is an equilateral triangle. If two sides are equal, then it is an isosceles triangle. If all the three sides are unequal, then it is a scalene triangle. Acute angle triangle. If all the three angles are acute, then it's an acute angle triangle. A right angle triangle is a one which has one right angle in it, that is 90 degrees. And an obtuse angle triangle is a triangle which has one angle that is obtuse or greater than 90 degrees. So these were the types of triangles. Now in the coming videos, we will study more details, more characteristics about these different types of triangles.